welcome back everyone ios 15 beta 2 just officially got announced i guess that's one way to put it so let's take a look at it on the iphone 7. now what i can tell you is is that ios 15 is looking to be getting a little bit better overall so that's a really good thing to see this beta was i think around 1.7 gigs on pretty much all my devices as you can see 1.86 so it was about from here it was less than two gigs all across the board. I did not see any device, including my iPhone 11s, that were over you know 1.8 or 1.9 gigs. So I think that's a really cool thing. The install process was very straightforward and nothing crazy happened. None of my devices broke or anything like that, which is always good to see. So there are a couple cool changes. Again, nothing super crazy. 15 was a, the biggest change. Beta 2 is not really going to be that big of a change, just bug fixes and stuff. Now we do have bug fixes specifically for iCloud Private Relay. So that was a pretty big exploit or bug that, you know, that was kind of made aware and now Apple fixed it, which is cool. We now have a new maps icon. So if you look at the maps right here, you can see the icon has changed a little bit and I'm actually digging it. I don't know if there was the purple thing before, but the icon was actually fairly outdated. And now we actually do get a newer icon, which I think is really awesome. Now on top of this, I don't know if any of you guys are going to like this to be honest, but we do now have, you know, outfits for Memojis. So again, I don't know who uses Memojis, at least in my audience. I personally have never used Memojis before. I think one time with my iPhone 10 or something. And we now have outfits associated with Memojis. So I think that's really cool. I don't think, as you can see, there's a huge glitch going on over here. It's like super slow. There we go. It's a little bit smoother. But we now have outfits for this thing. So I think that's really awesome. And now we do actually have share play working. So things like, you know, sharing your screen with FaceTime and different things like that. That's another really cool thing for your specific device that we have. And I think you're able to share your screen or share devices or share, you know, a video to an iMac and different things like that that are on Mac OS 12. So that's a really awesome thing. And to kind of sum up this video, I mean, should you even install iOS 15 beta 2 on your iPhone 7? Well, absolutely not. You know, on a main device, I would not recommend installing this, you know, specific version of software. It's just going to cause too many issues. There's really nothing super crazy that you can't work out for. There's still going to be bugs all over the place. And I would hate for you to install this version of software and experience issues. That is the last thing I want you to experience. And if on your main device, I would not recommend doing it. Now, if you have a side phone, if you have like an iPhone 7 you don't use anymore, then go for it. I think the good thing is, is that it does look like it's getting more stable over time. I I did not get into any random reboots or boot loops and it seems like the phone is working pretty much okay the safari browser was really glitchy before but it seems like it's a little bit smoother now which i like seeing so ultimately i would not recommend installing it but if you have a side iphone i would say go for it what's the worst that can happen that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section as well hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then